Lindsay started playing hockey at about six or seven years old. Halfway through in overtime, Clement wants the puck out in the slot. Instead to the point, and they score! Lindsay Eastwood a strike! Your work will always be there. You'll always be able to get another job, but your kids' sports or your kids' activities, never miss it because it could be taken away from you just like that. So that's why I, I never miss anything. We drove 14 hours to Wisconsin from Ottawa in the car straight to watch the watch her play in the uh, in the final eight, and uh, that was quite something. It's just been a great, uh, great experience. Uh, you know, wouldn't trade a, trade it for anything. It's been. Hello. Hey, Lou. When are you guys going to get here? Uh, soon. We're just on the way. We're almost there. Not far. Is the border yet? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're probably about 10 minutes or so away. Okay, cool. See you soon. Okay, Lou. Okay, hey, bye. Okay, good luck. Thanks. Bye. Uh, my name is David Eastwood. So I started playing hockey when I was about six, almost seven. I always wanted to play in the NHL, yeah. Like, like every, any other kid, I was 16 at that time. The Belva Bulls, they offered me a tryout. My father wouldn't take me. I, we, we had a, my mom and dad just split up, so uh, things were kind of tough. So I uh, didn't get to go and try out. And my father and I had a falling out for quite a long time. It's tough. I, he was going through a lot, and I was, I, I was a young guy, didn't know what to do, and people started offering me uh, part scholarships and scholarships. They, my father said, well, unless they offer you a full one, uh, you, you're not going. So I had a whole, all these decisions to make and uh, I was 20 years old, didn't know what to do. And my dad talked me out of, uh, of, of, of going the hockey route. That was my whole life. Playing hockey, uh, that's all I knew. I always, I see guys that I played with and played against that did, did go on. I, I, my brother played 15 years in the NHL. And, um, you know, I, I see uh, all, all these different people, and I, I wonder, I, I wonder what, uh, how far I could have gone, and what I could have done if, if I had a, had the opportunity and been, been, been the support. I have no regrets. Uh, wouldn't trade it for the world. Uh, It's very rewarding for me to see Lindsay. Live out her dream and, 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 and see all these neat things like she's getting to do. The hockey was my passion. So for me to see, like if she had to play tennis, obviously it wouldn't be the same. If she had to stayed with the rowing, that would have been tough. But you know what? You, you help your kids and you, whatever their, that's their thing. But it was really neat. I was really glad that she was able to follow in my uh, in, in the hockey and everything happens for a reason. I, I wouldn't have Lindsay and the journey she and I have, uh, have been on. Uh, and <laughs> I always thought to myself after I decided to choose that route, I always wanted to make sure that I, I made sure the resources, the time and the effort was there on my part. Oh, put it in kid! To help our kids because I didn't want them to ever second guess anything that, you know, that they were going to do in their life because they didn't have the resources or the the time, the, the support. Wouldn't change it for the world now. I'm really proud of her and what she's been able to accomplish.